Yeah, hi. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. I'd like to present my case. Uh, 16 complaints of cough and chest pain since 3 months. He's a known diabetic uh, since 20 years, hypertensive since 15 years, no family history of cancer. So, a chest CT was done, uh, and which showed an ill-defined lesion in the left upper lobe. On post contrast imaging, uh, the lesion showed heterogeneous post contrast enhancement with mediastinum. Um, medially, it was showing loss of fat planes with the paravertebral soft tissue, esophagus, focally with the trachea also. Uh, it was encasing the arch of the aorta. So, here, uh, differential of a neoplastic lesion was given and a biopsy was done for this lesion. Uh, on biopsy it turned out to be acute suppurative inflammation with no evidence of any granuloma or malignancy. So the imaging findings were more in favor of a neoplastic lesion and again a review of the histopathology was done which showed that there was no alveolar tissue identified, no fungal element seen, no granulomas and no tuberculosis or no neoplastic pathology. So the clinician was not convinced and uh, given the imaging features, uh, he had requested for uh, again a biopsy. The uh, repeat biopsy also said inflammatory myopathy fibroblastic proliferation, not diagnostic of a carcinoma, sarcoma or lymphoma. So after this, uh, still in a dilemma of whether this is a neoplastic tissue or uh, inflammatory or infective tissue, um, the patient did not take any treatment and a PET CT was done after one month. in which again this, neo, uh, this soft tissue was labelled as neoplastic with further infiltration into the uh, mediastinum. There were air foci which were seen within the lesion and uh, a possible fistulous communication with the esophagus was given in the report. There was another CT done after three months uh, remind you that the patient has not taken any treatment till now because uh, the imaging and pathology findings uh, are contradictory and a CT done after three months showed uh, progression with further soft tissue which was seen on the right paravertebral uh, uh, side with thick irregular enhancement, peripheral enhancement. Few prominent lymph nodes were seen in the mediastinum but not enlarged and no necrosis were seen in the lymph nodes. And now there was a new onset adrenal lesion which was seen which was hyperdense and hypoenhancing. So again a repeat biopsy was done after this, this was a third biopsy for that patient and uh, this time for uh, as the clinician was suspecting uh, and was investigating for atypical infections, uh, the biopsy sample was also sent for MALDI TOF MS, this is a matrix assisted laser desorption ionization time of flight mass spectrometry which is usually done for atypical infections. So when you have a uh, colony of bacteria which uh, is not routinely identified by micro, uh, microbiologist, he will uh, tell you to do this type of test. So on this, the uh, micro, uh, micro organism which was identified was no cardia. And 
the lessons learned here were that infections can often mimic neoplasms uh, and oncoradiologists should remember that infections even though if they have uh, speculated margins uh, infections can also have speculated margins and infiltrative borders uh, and infections uh, PET, and here in this case, I think PET CT done after two negative biopsies, which uh, said no lung or alveolar tissue uh, was identified from the biopsy material, should have been reviewed again carefully labeled a neoplastic. There's a low incidence of uh, no cardiac infections, and therefore it is not well known, and therefore not even considered in an initial diagnosis workup. No cardiac infection is to be kept in mind in patients with atypical pneumonia, unresponsive to empirical broad spectrum antibiotics even more so if the patient has a multifocal disease and here one more thing was to be kept in mind that adrenal abscess is one of the differential diagnosis for adrenal incidentaloma in the uh, presence of such clinical uh, and diagnostical findings uh, this use of maldi tof test uh, can save us some times in atypical infection as uh, uh, to avoid delaying diagnosis and just a reminder that e uh, such extensive workup can have a lot of cost uh, to be bared in mind so, uh, in, s in this case it went up to 4 to 5 lakhs without a definitive diagnosis and infections uh, beyond our daily uh, spectrum of staph, strep, TB and E. coli should also be kept in mind when you are uh, looking at such lesions so I thank you uh, Good case. Yeah. I enjoyed it. A nice case, Varun. So, uh, anytime we see the aggressive lesions, yeah. one of the differentials, uh, we will keep it as infection. Yeah. And uh, if it is not responding and not giving any conclusive answers, then pro probably we are dealing with something which is benign and we don't have any clues. So, we should broaden our horizons and look for atypical scenarios also. Which hospital did the Maldetov? Uh, Hinduja this, did the uh, this was done at uh, Hinduja. Hinduja. So, so two yeah. uh, in Mumbai, there's Hinduja in Metropolis who's okay. doing this test. And uh, irony of that uh, thing is that that test costs about 600 rupees only. So uh, even after such an extensive workup, the diagnosis was made on such a uh, <laughs> test. So yeah. Any comments from Rajiv if he's online? Yeah, we sometimes we do come across uh, uh, such uh, problematic cases when uh, the clinical suspicion was high malignancy and infection. So, if on repeat perhaps we, um, uh, if we get uh, not get a conclusive answer, we have to review all the biopsy samples together. Or what are the samples and uh, sit along with the microbiologist and pathologist uh, to so in a attempt retrospect we should uh, we should try to see if there are some filamentous organisms uh, if we can. Add. Was the material aspirated? Was like a, was it like really like a pus like uh, material uh, during the biopsy? On the first no. biopsy, it wasn't. Uh, I think the second and the third biopsy were done at Hinduja, so I don't know about that uh, material. But they yeah. had uh, labeled it as purulent in fact, uh, exudate. I guess so. Yeah. So uh, usually, no idea. Uh, sometimes we do get uh, like a pus like a pus like material, and we should do some uh, what uh, some space. We have to put some extra efforts and uh, do some uh, modified stains because you no know, cardia uh, some uh, they are usually not picked up by usual a afb and uh, fungus stains so you have to do modified uh, afb stains uh, to better appreciate them uh, even on the biopsy initial labs thank you varun